Hi Leo, this is going to be your reading for the last week of August, the 26th to the 31st. Um, check your moon, Venus and rising if this doesn't resonate with you all the way. And you can fast forward past the shuffling section of the video if you'd like to. So, the messages for Leo. Last week of August. 2018 messages for Leo for the last week of August Queen of Pentacles, overall energy. Wanting stability. Hmm. Okay. Some of you have a decision to make. Do so you feel like it's whether you should go back or move on? Some of you. We have the magician here, so the power is in your hands basically. So, not much to worry about for Leo. <laughs> yep. You could be choosing between an Aries or somebody with Aquarius in their chart. Or anybody but there's two types of people here for some of you could be choosing or choosing to go or to stay to have you to to take control and be in your own power or to stay with somebody but you definitely setting your boundaries here definitely taking control Kind of not letting somebody have control anymore of the situation. Some of you may be taking a leap of faith as in like to cut somebody off. Like it could be hard for you to cut someone off but you're taking that leap to like cut them off in the hopes that you'll have something better, attract someone better. And then some of you could have been left out in the cold and you're thinking of taking a leap of faith and contacting that person or trying to. The person could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be, or it could be any sign. It seems like this person is acting like they're not interested but still watching you. But they, they see that you are, like, you're kind of living in your own power right now. Kind of taking control from them. Or at least, like, if they've cut you off, you are just still living your best life either way. They see that and so they're watching you. But they could be acting uninterested. Yeah, acting like, acting like they're not bothered. Trying to create this illusion. That they don't care. But they're watching you because they miss you. They're watching you because you have the... Well, they have the Six of Cups here. So, the nostalgia, they miss you, they're watching you. 
They feel like you're heartbroken, but they feel like you are not focusing on it, not focusing on the connection, not focusing on them, focusing on yourself. Like they see that, they're watching you. Or maybe you will be in the coming week. But they definitely are watching you because they miss you. However, they're acting like they don't. They're creating this illusion that that they're not hurt and that they don't need you. So if you feel that way, it's just an illusion. Some of you know that this person is coming back. Some of you know they want to come out of the cold. But some of you may not be letting them in. Yeah, I feel like they're waiting for you to come back. Some of you may be waiting for them to come back. But I feel like some of you are also waiting for something new. But definitely some of you are waiting for reconciliation. Waiting for that message, waiting for them to contact you. Or it could be vice versa, it could be them waiting for you. But somebody is waiting for reconciliation here. Right? Someone's waiting for reconciliation. It does seem like they have realized your value, realized your worth, and they are waiting for you to come back. Yeah. It's burdening them. It's like eventually the, the it will it will become Okay, judgment. It will become um the burden will be too much for them to bear. They'll they'll come back. They'll, they won't be able to hold it in any longer. And they'll they'll come back. Or it could be vice versa, it could be you who goes back to them, but It could also be that, yeah, it could also be that reconciling could take the burden off of your back or their back or both of you, right? But the judgment, there's no more judgment, there's no more depression, however, it's not really, it's like you're gonna get back together but as friend like you're gonna start off talking as friends like keep it friendly some of you maybe not for a long time maybe just for the first conversation where you just kind of talk in a friendly way i guess maybe playing hard to get all over again Romantic feelings. It's not over for some of you. I feel like some of you guys are taking a break from this person. But it's not over. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy. Deception. Someone's wearing a false mask. Like I said, they're pretending that they're not hurt. They're pretending it doesn't bother them. But it does. Reconciliation. You have reconciliation in capitals. You may get back together as a couple. You may just be friends. You may start off as friends and become a couple again. But definitely reconciliation. just very you know you you being independent them acting like they don't care and so it's just 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 this big illusion and eventually eventually you'll talk and the burden will be lifted 
of you know not knowing what's going to happen that will be lifted divine passion be honest with yourself what is your heart's true desire leap of faith take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action you have the fool here leap of faith so it's like they need to take that leap of faith to be honest and you know that they're gonna do it it's just a matter of time you are good at helping counseling and healing children use your skills to help children now so I love reading basically your inner child while you're taking the break from this person or while you're waiting for that to come in kind of nurture your inner child in the meantime like it could be very helpful going forward you are mag sorry you are a magical uh I can't speak you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality so if you want to manifest this person back you can do so i definitely feel like you should though nurture your inner child in the meantime so that maybe this time around it can work the relationship can work this time around if you put work like work on yourself try to do the best you you do have the, the uh, magician here and then you have this manifestation card saying you can manifest so you can manifest this person back. You can even set your boundaries. You can visualize them accepting your boundaries or giving you what you want. You know, the power is in your hands, basically. So, definitely, there's definitely reconciliation here. Definitely, this person is acting like they don't care. So if you feel like that, you feel like they don't care, it's a lie. They do. They miss you. There's reconciliation. They're coming back. Your reconciliation twice. I can't believe I've never seen this before. Yeah, definitely. So, definitely look forward to that. I don't feel it doesn't have to be in the week, in the last week of August. It could be in September. Maybe you still need to do that inner work. But the person is definitely coming back or you may feel like taking the leap of faith and going back to that person taking them back making the first move but if you feel like they are not missing you it is not the truth okay definitely not the truth here because you have the moon clarifying that with the moon clarifying the four of cups it's just an illusion they're acting like they don't want what you have to offer but it's not true so you do have the power in your hands once you you know get that communication be light-hearted flirt in the beginning just be light light about it don't be heavy if you want it to work going forward if you want to stop having the situation end or go back and forth you know but again some of you are choosing between two people or choosing to to leave or stay and the choice is yours here because you have whoever it is you want to come back they are coming back so that power is in your hands do with it what you please <laughs> okay so leo well queen of pentacles remember that was your overall so you can get that stability, you can manifest that stability with this person, especially since they're coming back into your life. So, Leo, that was your reading for the last week of August. Um, like, comment, subscribe, let me know if it resonates. Check your moon, Venus, and rising if this didn't resonate with you all the way or if you want more information on what's going to happen. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you for watching. <laughs>